Pretty okay, bad. well, Empire <laughs> is not only breaking records in the music world, it is setting trends in the fashion world, too. That's right. Christy Young joins us again with more on the fashions, hairstyles, etc., from the show, which, again, like the music, are a massive part of the whole thing. Absolutely. When the episodes end and everyone's around the water cooler, they're talking about what everyone had on and the furs mm -hmm. and the hair. Now, one thing you have to remember is that Cookie's character went to jail for 17 years, which would have meant that she was kind of in that little Kim era when she went, All which right. explains <laughs> some of her fashion choices. That does not explain Hakeem's high top fade. I'm still scratching mm. my head, but take a look. <laughs> <laughs> From head to toe, every character on Empire has their own unique look. Each episode has us analyzing their hair, and when it comes to the clothes, we all want to know, where'd you get that? So I went in search of some answers. My first stop, Lavar Hair Designs in Manhattan. So we have Lucius, who's Terrence Howard. In the very first episode, I, they had him with a press and curl, which confused me a lot, because I was like, well, what time frame are we in? And I think it's better his hair is cut shorter, and it makes him more relevant. Cookie's hair, no matter how she wears it, it's fantastic. I don't think she has a weave. I think she's wearing wigs. But what she does well is that she blends her natural hair in with her wig, weave, or ponytail. Things that make you go, hmm, Becky's hair. Tragic. One thing with her hair, her hairline grows very low on her forehead. So it's a difficult, you know, hairline to kind of cover. Yeah. So if you're not going to cover it, you need to blend it. I love Portia's hair. I think it fits her. I think it's well done. And I like it. I like the way it is. What is up with Hakeem's hair? I actually thought when I saw him, kid and play. Even if they wanted it high top, if they might have twisted it, made it like little dreads or something, that might have made it more relevant and more 2015. And Anika's hair is short and sweet. I like that her hair is short. The look for her is good for her. And now, the fashions of Empire. Let me introduce my guest. This is Jessica Andrews from Glamazonsblog.com. So let's start with Anika. We have a model that is in a dress that's similar to one that she had on that yeah. had cutouts. Mm -hmm. Just an alluring peak of skin. Um, and it's great, too, that this comes with a high neckline, so there's a balance there. Okay. This is by Forever 21, okay. um, and it's only $25. Oh, so I like So a that. great steal. When one of the earlier episodes, we saw her in head-to-toe leopard print, which can be really tricky and hard to do. She gave you a head-to-toe leopard look, a red Valentino dress, a Christian Louboutin bag, and a fedora. Um, this is a look Cookie actually wore further along in the season. <laughs> this is a dress, even though it looks like a top and a skirt. Yeah. It was Altazura for Target. There are plenty of people selling it on eBay, and the price points are right. Now, moving on, she had a Kenneth Cole blouse on. So is this still available, or is this sold out? It's still available. It's $50 at KennethCole.com. So pay attention to these looks with just a little bit of effort. You can get the look or get the look for less. And who doesn't want to look like they're an extra in the empire? Absolutely. <laughs> well 